go. All right, so today we're going to do the m and Regression Experiment Lab. Now, if we were in class, you would be doing this and all five of the groups would be doing this one time. Unfortunately, I'm doing it at home. I'm going to show you once so you get, get the idea of how this works. And then I'll do it another four times when you're not being recorded and everything like that, or sorry, when I'm not being recorded. And we'll go from there. All right, so the first thing we do is we have this cup. This cup has 100 M&Ms in it. We're gonna give it a little gentle shake and we're gonna dump it out on here on the pit plate. Now, we're gonna give this plate just a little shake to get the M&Ms flat because we need to pull out all of the M's that are M side up. So we're gonna pull them off over here. I was doing this with gloves on, but the gloves created a lot of problems. You just don't have the dexterity So I'm just going to do this and I will be the only one who eats the M&M's. So, but we got to pull out all of the ones that are M side up. Now, while I'm doing this, I want you to think about what is the probability that an M&M would land M side up? Well, an M has two sides, one side with an M and one side without an M. So the probability is one out of two, so one half. All right, almost done. A lot of these went M side up. That is okay. Sometimes they don't, sometimes they do. It just depends on the experiment. All right. And now we're gonna count the number of M&Ms that are left. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 45. So on my paper, Right here where it says trial zero, I'm gonna put 100. Where it says trial one, I'm gonna put 45. And then I'm gonna scoop these back up and I'm gonna put them back in this cup. Then I'm gonna give it a little gentle shake, dump it out, and once again, pull out all the M&Ms that are M side up. Now, thinking back to our Probability. Remember, probability where we do an experiment is called empirical probability. This is an example of an empirical probability lab. And because of it, we're going to see that it's not perfect. All right, so we're gonna count. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. I'm gonna record that. Then I'm gonna scoop it up and I'll put it in here. I hope I don't break it in there. Give it a little shake, dump it out. One. As you can see, we're losing quite a few as we go. We have 14 left. Ooh, that was a whole lot of them. I might run out of M&Ms. We'll have to see, because I have only got four left. I continue with four. <laughs> and I have still four. That's weird. They do have ends on them, you can see. <laughs> there we go. One. So I'm left with three. All right. And then... I would have you guys put your data on the board 
and we would take the average of them. I'm gonna go ahead and do this experiment a couple more times and we'll go from there.